morning guys I'm gonna be making a short video about my lovely barber jacket here the barber international Union Jack wax jacket uh, yeah I'm making this video for a friend of mine wax and tartans please visit his Instagram and YouTube page I'm gonna leave a, uh, a link in the description down below anyway so where do we begin uh, basically I got this jacket for one obvious reason yeah and this is what it was give me a few seconds to open this bad boy up here we go there it is union jack lining i mean who doesn't love that it just makes this jacket super unique and in my opinion looks super cool okay so basically this jacket uh, has a six ounce wax cotton outer shell I think it's a cotton lining it's got a drip strip over here heavy duty uh, YKK zip, uh, attractive poppers in gold, and the pocket layout is similar to the original International. Unfortunately, being a six ounce wax cotton outer shell, it's not uh, the this thing isn't as heavy wearing or as heavy duty as the original International, which has an eight ounce outer shell. But still, I mean. The original one doesn't have this, the Union Jack, so can't have everything, I guess, but yeah. Again, uh, the layout is basically similar to the International. You still have your map pocket over here, map chest pocket. You've got a lovely Barber International patch over here as well. And here you've got really, I just love how chunky and heavy duty the zips are I mean that's one thing I love about barbers that it's their zippers it's just really really rugged and I haven't been into barbers for that long but you can really tell that these zippers will last a lifetime so what else can we talk about this jacket so this jacket has one inner pocket one inner chest pocket it's got a a throat latch well it's got a union jack patch in the front what else can we talk about it's got a waist belt that you can close up well it depends how how you want to wear this jacket some people want to wear it with the with the with, with with the belt unbuckled, which I prefer, I just leave it uh, tied up in the back, or you could close it up. Doesn't really matter. And one good thing about this model is, unlike the Steve McQueen Internationals, the length of the sleeves are sufficient to my arm length so this is one thing I like about the internationals the sleeve lengths are really really good so yeah just like with all other barbers you've got bellow pockets over here and the unique thing about these things are I mean I'm not sure if the original internationals are like the, the like this as well but yeah it's the pocket extends all the way up to the poppers yeah so when you when you fold that down you're folding down a part of the pocket as well so i guess that keeps your things a little bit more secure you don't get things i mean when you're riding your motorcycle you, you don't want stuff falling off or falling out of your pocket so that will keep your bits in there secure 
again the trademark Barber International slanted map pocket is right here again these these yellow popper or these yellow or you can say they're gold they're just they're just fantastic they're just really really nice to look at the the contrast between the yellow and the black is really amazing and then above everything you get the red white and blue from the Union Jack which which makes you stand out from the crowd whenever you you're wearing this uh, wax and tartus would say I baby my jackets which I think I do I don't know I, I just I just I just love these things too much to bash them around. Anyway, let's let's see how it fits. Let's see how it fits. I haven't worn this in quite some time. Yeah. I think, I think my mannequin, this guy's name is Steve. I think he, he's, a, he's in much better shape than I am, but yeah, this is how it looks, see? As I mentioned, sleeves are adequate. They're not, they're not like three inches too short. They are just right. So this is how this bad boy looks on me. When I first put this thing on, it was like, felt like Steve McQueen straight away. So yeah, where's that belt? justice so yeah you've got a lot of room in the arm section the length of the jacket is very adequate to cover your bum yeah and it's really roomy I don't want to sit this all the way up because I might have a hard time putting the throw latch in and taking it off so yeah this is how it looks yeah the only drawback I find about this jacket is I think with most barber owners uh, in well, it's not that cold outside you do find that body heat can't escape through the jacket so you will get uh, moisture trapped especially in the in the sleeve in your sleeve so yeah I mean but you know what uh, as long as other people don't know know about it and you still look cool wearing this jacket I don't mind it doesn't really bother me that much as long as you're not running or taking it taking a hike with this on you're fine yeah so I hope I didn't miss anything yeah uh, again yeah. this jacket is just one of a kind I think you can still find this on sale well not not a sale but it, I got this from countryattire.com yeah so give them a check as well uh, I'm not sure if they still have it though uh, you can also find this on on the barber website itself so have a look yeah again Union Jack line you, you cannot go wrong with that I mean some people might say uh, it's a bit too much but I mean to me this is just really really cool so yeah I don't mind it yeah, Barber International. Hope, um, hopefully one day I can maybe bag a original International, but that's still uh, far off into the future. So, yeah, right now I've only got one International. I've got uh, other Barber jackets, which maybe I'll talk about in the future. But yeah, that's it. That's it. So, yeah, 
I think this thing looks better on Steve than it does on me. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, have a nice day.